Hi, friend. Who we got? We're going to put this test box together today and uh, do a test. That sounds good. Join me. Hi, friend. Got our OSH Park in the mail today. This is for our test box. Nice small unit. I think I'm going to use a regular hoggle switch instead of a, a push foot switch. What's the point of having a foot switch when it's going to be on the side of my desk anyways? So let's take care of that. Okay, I'm going to try to make the soldering a little bit easier to see. We're going to put this in this little PCB vise. Let me take those tabs off there first. That should do have my current limiting resistor for the LED. Grab an LED. I'll grab it. This is going here. And I got my one microfarad capacitor that goes right there. We're going to wait on the uh, LED anyways because we're going to attach it to the enclosure itself. Okay. I'll try to zoom in on this a smidge so it'll be easier to see. Sister in. Make sure your tip is clean and tinned. This one's pretty good. It's a little older, but it's still working very well. You want a little fillet in there to go up the lead just a bit. What I'm going to do is make sure it's in place. I'm going to press on the back. Watch out, it gets hot. So get on and off there quick to bend them to hold it in place while I'm soldering. I like them to be straight through in the end. There we go. That's how it should look. Let's see if I get a close up of that. Come on, focus. There you go. You see that little fillet there? Let's grab my good snips. I lost them. These aren't them. Hmm. See, I didn't put everything away, did I? I'm actually going to close this on on the component itself to hold it in place. We're going to solder this in just like that. Perfect. See that fly off there? You got to watch your eyes. All right. That's perfect. Do fit in here. Sometimes you got to manipulate the leads just a little bit. Like this. See that? Just a little touch. And we're going to put this in from the reverse, the, from the reverse, yes. We're going to get that put in there just like that. Nice and straight, not blocking anything. Do that. And we're going to solder it in from the other side. There you go. I'm trying to record this in higher quality so that these solder joints actually show up. I hope it works out because the last time it didn't work as expected. I've been doing electronics for a while, but this video thing is all new to me. Smoky, isn't it? Get around that big capacitor there, huh? These switches, I mentioned it before, they're a little bit touchy, so get on and off them quick. I didn't get that very well on this side. I also want to have a good mechanical connection. Okay, what did I do? There we go. Let's focus that. There we go. Yeah, this one here looks a little sketchy. I'm gonna redo that one. Sure, it's fine. Just that you want it to be right. This one looks like a little, a little bit too much on there. Huh. There we go. Must I must have moved it. All right. Now the LED is gonna go on the same side 
as the switch. Now for the alligator clips, I got this shielded four conductor cable that I'm going to attach to it. The black's going to be ground, red's going to be nine volt, input's going to be green, and the output's going to be white. Let's see, put it in from the back. These are those, um, what were they called? Overnights from P OSH Park. It has a black top and a clear bottom. Just I wanted to try it. There was no price increase, so I figured why not. All right, I'm gonna try to get this soldered in to these four leads right here. We have input, let me point with something better. Input, nine volt, ground, and output. All right, those are all soldered in. I'm gonna clean them up a little bit. Hmm. There we go. And I have a ground here too. Kinda, since it's shielded, we should have it grounded to anything that's grounded really. Either the box or we're gonna put it in one of these guitar ground. We're gonna move it to this ground here. We can just solder it to, to that one, but this one's open and this one will already be grounded to the case then we could just put it right here easy now we're only going to solder that on one side that's how we do shielding all right okay let's prepare these wires I usually close that in as much as possible that's still too much so i just nipped the little end off of there hello focus i just nipped the end off to put inside the pcb All right, and this is going to be power ground, power plus, the input, and the output jack. It's going to go in here like so. I guess we're going to do one at a time. It's being difficult today. Why won't this focus? I understand AVE more and more every day. Okay, all right, and these ones are for, the yellow one is the amp, it's the output to the amp. And the green one will be the input from the guitar. Okay, this is the 2.1 millimeter plug. Regular boss adapters fit in there. That's what everybody uses. Uh, you'll see there's a long lug and a short lug. The short one is to the center, that's your negative, and the long one's your positive. Okay, it's all wired up except for this LED and the jack. So I'm gonna put this LED in just to make sure the switch is all working as expected. And we're gonna go from there. All right, we got that all soldered up. Looks like it's working as expected. Let me get that probe in there now. And this is gonna be kind of sketchy because this is an old probe from a cheap old generic multimeter and i'm just going to snip this off right here and solder it to the probe lead to the probe terminal i don't know if it's going to work but we're going to try it i don't know what to expect inside here hey it's not too bad i'm going to twist these together and solder them before i get going okay here's the finished product now i had trouble with that capacitor the one microfarad if you don't bend it over like that it sticks up above and when I bolted it to the side here it broke the switch it pulled the pieces right out um what did I do with the rest of it it like totally came apart there's the there's the toggle right there see that it just pulled it right apart so make sure you test fit it before you screw it in you can see I have the output the input I have a power in here I have a little grommet, I'm going to switch an LED, and these two countersink holes are what I'm going to bolt it to the desk with. Uh, this is where the probe is. Now this was, like I told you, it was a cheapy, and it works fine. I was very surprised that it, the wire inside was as thick as it was. Uh, I believe that came from one of those free Harbor Freight uh, multimeters that they give away from time to time. There you go. And yes, I did mess up on the bottom. 
I needed these to be closer together and I tried to put them in the middle. It just didn't work out how I wanted it. But let's mount it. I put the two holes for the screws in a place where it won't interfere with any of the circuitry. All right, there we go. Now when you plug that in, that goes to the amp. And if you step on that wire, it's not gonna drag the, your circuit off. Um, as you'll see here, I just wired these in. I spliced these in. Um, I was gonna go directly off of here with the alligator clips, and I still might do that. But I already had these ones, and I wanted the extra length. So I spliced them. I'm gonna uh, tape these and shrink wrap it, but not right now. And you can see this goes in here on and off. Hope that's not going to be in my way too much. Probably not. It should be fine. If it is, I'll move it over here. Probably will move it over here. Another thing we should probably do is put a piece of copper tape behind here so it, there's no radio frequencies get in through the back. But this is just a test box. We have been doing it just like this, wide open anyways. So you're going to get RF in a circuit if it's not in an enclosure, a grounded enclosure anyways. Okay, we'll put a test circuit on it. I got the rat pedal from last time hooked up to it, but we'll do it and we'll show you how the test probe works as well. Okay, we have this hooked up here. We have the power supply hooked in and our leads are coming out to the table. And this is our rat build that we made last time. Now we're just gonna hook it up. We have our Red for 9 volt, black for ground, and we've got which one's which here? This is input, this one's output. I normally have the input and output green and yellow, but I must have run out. I have some here. I don't know why I used the wrong color, but I never do that. We're going to plug our guitar into here and our amp here all right here's what our bypass tone is this is just with the switch down on the test box and i'm going to kick it in to show you hope that clears everything up and I think this would be a great addition if you have something that's not getting output you could use the probe say you wanted to go turn it on first uh, where would we go Oh, see, that's why you have that capacitor in there to block that DC. That's good if you have a dead circuit and you want to find out where it stops. All right. Hey, I hope you had a good time. I hope this is a helpful project for you and I hope you build one. Um, hope to see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.